We will return to draw together, but first a word from our sponsors. Hey there, fellas. Name's Kevin. Pretty common name, but that's alright. Listen, guys, I know that most of you handsome men want to find some girl like this one right here. But I'm here to tell you, you don't really need a woman to please your life. You just need a nice, sexy man like this one. Woo! Maybe he can take me on for a ride anytime. And we need to push it on you, fellas. Because if you don't, you are going to end up hating us gay men. And we don't like that stuff. So you best listen to us. We're telling you how to think. Bye-bye, darlings. This is Kevin signing out. <laughs> Just as you know, I'm not making fun of gay folks. I'm making fun of this woman's logic, who's basically saying that media is trying to tell her that they need to accept homosexuality and transsexuality. This is some Illuminati shit we're talking about. I have voices in my head. Oh, the baby is so cute. Oh, thank you. What's his name? Cletus, Chanel, Tavion, Dre. Oh, okay. Well, is it a boy or a girl? Well, it's a boy. You know, it has his man parts. But, uh, you know, she may, he may decide he wants to be a girl. My little princess. He's so cute. He's so cute. I'm confused. Child, I am too. I'm trying to be funny. Laugh at me for crying out loud. Are you awake yet? Because if you didn't know it by now, the media, yeah. But oh, you said it, sister. Breach. Want to control how we think. Ooh. And I'm not having it. For instance, black males are violent, probably have a criminal record, they ain't going to college, and all they want is your purse. Sound familiar? So, uh, let me get this straight. You're actually telling me the media somehow is pushing an agenda towards people like yourself in order to accept homosexuality and transsexuality. This video isn't even about homosexuality, but coming out as trans. So, not only do you not understand the difference between the two, but also you are a complete and utter moron when the media is quote-unquote forcing you to accept something. You're under no obligation to like something. The media can never do that. Have you taken a second to even think about why homosexuality is being displayed everywhere in the media? They come to terms that homosexuality is normal and therefore it should be seen as a normal thing? It seems a little forced. Well, for certain shows, maybe. I know one show that is using someone being trans as some sort of selling point. There's nothing like coming of age in a world where all the good Twitter names are gone because you were born too late, jobs are something you only see in 80s movies, and diet soda gives you diabetes. And it's the first animated show in the history of the world to feature a transgender actress in a lead role. Whoa, you're trans? You didn't know? Being trans shows huge strength of mind. No pun intended, but it takes balls. I'm thinking of replacing my balls with candy and turning the whole thing into a Pez dispenser. Premedicated. Plant. Look, this is in no way an attack on the LGBT community. But you're complaining about how there is more gay folks being displayed in media. Unless you're attacking shows that are forcing an agenda down people's throats, I don't think you have much room to talk. It's a call for everyone to open your eyes. I hope you're open for constructive criticism because here it comes. The truth is the media wants to control the way that we think. Now all you need is a tinfoil hat and you'll be fucking perfect. For example, oh, sex sells? Well, how about... 
about, we use the voluptuous black woman and exploit her as a sex object in music videos and, and movies and TV shows. Oh, yeah, yeah, let's make them that sexy best friend or that one in the music video with all her clothes off. Oh, wait, that's already happening. So you're sharing the same views of that of a feminist? Okay, the reason why some people use women to sell a product because most men are straight. Unless the product itself is telling you you can gain that body or getting girls or looking good by buying that particular item, it's not gonna work. At least not for the straight men. Have you heard of Brian Quesada? Listen to this. Dear American Idol casting directors, I have received many phone calls and emails begging me to try out in front of the executive producers of the show in the past couple months. I'm not interested. Last year, I was interested and I tried out, but you didn't want me. I wasn't contemporary enough and being transgender wasn't such a hot issue in the media like it is now. He goes on in another interview that I've linked below and says, I was contacted again in June after Caitlyn Jenner was in the media and the first thing they said to me is, we want a transgender person on this show. They don't want a singer and transgender. They want someone that's transgender and a singer. And that's not the right reason to go on the show. Ryan was bold enough to say no, but there are countless of artists and, and actors and singers and directors and writers who are being pressured and are saying yes. Yes, I agree that being pressured into something that you do not want to do is wrong. However, as much as I disagree with the far left, I have to disagree with the far right. And your homophobia is completely disturbing. Truly, if the message was think for yourself, then we would see an equal amount of shows that highlight kids, teens, families to remain abstinent or who are normalizing the idea of being a virgin and having a healthy marriage. Now that is thinking for yourself. Well, haven't you been living under a rock? I'm sure if you look deep enough, I'm sure you'll find some films that fulfill your sad ego. That is giving them an option. Look, I need a greater source of truth than TMZ, Beyonce, or my friends. Okay, start with the internet. You'll find something that might be wrong about everything you believe in. I'm tired of the forced truth the world wants me to believe. Illuminati confirmed! I need that truth that sets people free. God says that you are a new creation. So wait, the truth comes from a 2,000 year old book that could be refuted easily. I would like you to debate someone when it comes to the Holy Bible. I'd like to see how well you do. Transform, wonderfully made, the light of the world, set free from the bondage of sin, forgiven, renewed. He also tells you you are a big piece of shit for being a human being. Just the fact that you're a born human just makes you a sinner. And now you owe this God your life and you must see yourself as someone who deserves in to burn in hell just because you were born human. I can't find someone who is hateful, this hateful to themselves more than Christians like yourselves. That, that, that is who you are. No, what I am is just another human being just speaking out my mind, doing whatever it takes to survive. Listen, be bold to speak the truth of God. So let me get this straight. We should be bold to speak the word of God. This is in no way forcing your beliefs down people's throats. Don't you dare let the opinions or the desires or the choice of somebody in your circle, your friends, to make you waver from what you were created to be. So we were created to fulfill the ego of something that may or may not exist. And the only proof you have is a 2,000 year old tome that no one should even take seriously. You were created to be a man. You were created to, for marriage, to love God. You were created to be confused about your gender. You were created to feel trapped in your body. Yes, listen to this one girl who gets her sources from an ancient book of contradictions. Who are you going to believe? The media who clearly has an agenda to push a specific calculated message or the book of God that says truth 
to set you free. I choose neither. You're literally trying to tell people that their belief is wrong and your belief is right. You're accusing them of something you are doing right now. There is freedom in the name of Jesus Christ. As far as I can tell, sin comes from free will. And seeing that there is no sin in heaven, the only conclusion is that there is no free will in heaven. So really, there is no such thing as freedom in heaven. You're fucked if you're in heaven, and you're, you're fucked if you are in hell. You just finished watching this video, and I dare you to be bold enough to share it. We gotta raise up our children with confidence in Jesus Christ. Share it, like it, love it, and remember, do not conform. I'll be sharing it, all right. But you won't like it on how I do it. I am the Atheist Gamer. Peace the game out.